Akmar Mansion was built in 1882 for Sir Isaac Buchanan and his family. Over the years, several families lived in the magnificent home, as well as being a hospital for the Royal Canadian Air Force, who used it as a veterans hospital. And then it was also used as a church and retreat. The mansion has now sat empty for decades. So pumped to be back at Akmar Mansion for a revisit. This was one of my favorite explorers, and this is one that I actually have permission for. The city of Hamilton has been gracious enough to allow us in here to do photos and video, and of course, that's because of Leanne, whose book about Akmar Mansion just came out. I encourage all of you to check it out. I'm gonna put info in the description for this, and let's check this out. Whose photos are in this book? These are photos that I did from the last uh, visit in here um, that she used for her book. This is an awesome book. It gives a breakdown of the history of this place, which is long. There's a lot to it. It really is an incredible place. I'm going to quit blabbing. Let's go get at it. Starting off on the second floor. A lot more decay and damage in here this time around. See the slats. I always love the bathtubs in here. Claw foot tubs, just a gorgeous feature. And marble sinks and the marble shower stall. Archways and windows in here are incredible. Just incredible. Yeah, it is decaying a lot more. This hallway. Bright pink room. It looks like there used to be a door there, possibly. Nice bright room. Love this building. This bathroom, another decently tiled one. It's nowhere near as ornate 
as the last one, in my opinion. Maybe it was the blue tiles that made it look nicer, I don't know. Head downstairs. Oh, wait, look at this. Nice fireplace with a mirror above it. Built-in cabinets. This place is incredible. Another fireplace, more bricked in or er, built in cabinets. Just gorgeous. And before we go downstairs, this is the servants' quarters. A lot tighter of a bathroom. Okay, doesn't go that far back. As you can see, these are a lot of damaged windows from the people trying to get in here, break in. And the back stairway going down. I'll head back out and go downstairs. I think that's where they all are right now. Beautiful bay windows. The wood shutters. Love this fireplace. Solid wood doors. There is a lot more paint peel and decay than when I was in here last year. Hallway is gorgeous. And this is the front door now. This is the main door. But it didn't used to be. And because of the backlight, no matter how much I turn my light on, there we go. So this is now the main door. Back in his day, this over here was the front door. It's an incredible place. Looks like it was a washroom. The 
Yeah, as I was saying, a lot more decay now. So gorgeous. So this would have been the main hall. Double fireplace. Incredible wood trim around everything. Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. That is unreal. Just the attention to detail. Wow. This whole room, it has the big bay windows. Unfortunately, some have been boarded. Very old style carpet. Built in wood shelves. Look at this room, big wood shelves built in next to bay windows. Fortunately, some have been boarded. Have a nice fireplace and check that out. Very ornate, very detailed. I love this place. So freaking cool. Ah, uh, yes, this is the room. Let me see. Uh, I can see all right. I'm just gonna see if I can find more lights, but this isn't too bad. Look at the detailing in the ceiling, the molding. It is gorgeous. with multiple big bay windows. There's more molding up here, but it's a lot more decayed. Love the shapes of these doors. Incredible. chandeliers look at the paint peel has gotten so much more in here made our way into the basement this is probably the, one of the creepiest but coolest areas of this mansion. I can't get across this way. Look at it down here, it's like a dungeon. And 
here. This was where they stored their wine and beer. This is a cool little room. I see the old light fixtures or buttons or whatever you want to call them. I'm drawing a blank. Always seen this as a very neat feature on some of the doors down here. The holes at the top and the bottom. Moving through pretty quickly, unfortunately we are on a time limitation. But we're going to cover everything that we can. And for everything that I'm not able to cover, well, I've done a full video on this place with the full history breakdown. The link is going to be in the description. Make sure to check it out. I believe if I remember correctly, this was a workroom for the Royal Canadian Air Force when they occupied this building many years ago. Look at this brickwork here. That is awesome. I love this hallway. If you watched my first video on this, I was checking out these bottles of wine, trying to figure out how old they are. Still sitting here. Archways, everything in here is incredible. Spider webs hanging everywhere. What an incredible mansion this place is. It's one of the most historic buildings in the area. It really is incredible and I'm so grateful to be able to go in here for a second time. Uh, big thank you to Leanne and the city of Hamilton for making that happen. It's a little bit more decayed than it was my last visit. A lot more paint peel, but it's still just stunning. It's a stunning building. Let me know what you guys all think in the comments. Uh, and if you haven't seen my original video on this that really broke down the history, the link is going to be in the description. And I'll see you all on the next adventure.